With Corel Paint Shop Pro X8, you can create a truly unique holiday card to send to all your friends and family. Not only will you get to share your photos with the people you care about, you'll be able to amaze them with your creativity and thoughtfulness. All you need for this project is Corel Paint Shop Pro and a digital photo that you'd like to use for your holiday card. First, we'll take a look at bringing in content to Paint Shop Pro. If you know where your photo is stored on your computer, open it by going to the File menu. If you wish, you can view an entire folder of images by clicking on the Browse More Folders icon in the navigator on the left-hand side of your screen. You do not see the navigator? No problem. Here's how to open it. First, ensure that the organizer is opened up along the bottom of the screen. If it's not, then right mouse click a blank area on the toolbar, go to Palettes and select Organizer. Alternatively, you can press Shift F9. Now, click the first icon on the top left corner of the organizer. This will toggle the navigator on and off. In the navigator, you'll notice the Browse More Folders icon. Clicking on this will allow you to browse the hard drive and any external drives that you happen to have hooked up to locate your content. I'm going to click on Cancel. I'm going to go to the File menu and select Open and open up the image that I want to use for this card. I'll close off the navigator and now I want to make sure that both my Layers palette and my Materials palette are open. If they're not open, again, right-click a blank area on the toolbar, go to Palettes, and you'll want to select Layers, or F8, and Materials, F6. Now that we have our image open, we're ready to start to create our card. The first thing I'm going to do is add a frame. From the Image menu, I'm going to go down to Picture Frame. Now to choose a frame, I simply need to left click on this icon. That will open up the categories of frames that I have available to me. You may notice that I have quite a number of frames in here. These are available by installing the extra content package. To access that, go to your help menu and go down to download more content. Here you'll have the ability to register and download additional content and install it. Again, back to the image menu, down to picture frames, and for this particular project, the picture frame I'm going to select is transparent, and the file name is Corel underscore 09 underscore 019. Simply select that frame. I want to make sure that frame current layer is selected, as well as frame outside the image. I'll click OK to that, and this will apply the frame to my image. Next, we're going to start and add some text. First, I'll click on the text tool in the toolbox and then click my cursor on the page. Now it's simply a matter of typing the text that I want. Now that I have the piece of text typed in, I'll double click on that piece of text in my layers palette. This is going to allow me to go into the properties of that particular layer. I'm going to go to layer style and in here I want to make sure that I have preview on image selected. I'm going to add an outer glow. I'll drop the size of it down to about 25 and I'm going to make the opacity about 65. I'm happy with that. I'll simply click OK and now I'll just center this piece of text. Perfect. Now I'm going to start and add the family members names. Let's start with Dad. I'm going to go into my layers palette bottom left hand corner I want to add a new vector layer. I'll simply click OK to this and then with my text tool still selected I'm going to type in dad's name. Double click in my layers palette on that layer. Go to my layers style, outer glow and I'm going to match what I did for the other piece of text. I'm going to make this 25 and I'm going to make this 65. Clicking OK to this. Now, I want to take this piece of text and I want to rotate it. We don't have the ability to rotate a vector layer, so what I'll do is I'll convert this vector layer by right-clicking on it, and I'm going to select Convert to Raster Layer. Now, selecting the piece of text allows me to rotate the angle, and I'm going to rotate this to 325 degrees. There. I'm happy with that. I'll just move this into position a little bit better. Now the next name I'm going to add will be mom's name. So again, bottom left hand corner, 
new vector layer. I'll select my text tool and we'll type in mom's name. Again, double click, go to layers, change this to 25. We'll go 65 here and I'll select outer glow and click OK. Right click on the layer, convert raster. I'm going to select my pick tool and now I'm going to change the angle to 325 degrees. I want to go ahead and add the other family members' names and then I'll be right back. Now that I've finished adding the names, one thing I should point out, in my materials palette, you can see that I have the ability to not only change the foreground and stroke properties, which would be my outline, I can also change the background and fill properties. And it's simply a matter of clicking on the color swatch and then in this dialog box, I'm going to dial up whatever color I want and simply click OK. Let me just do a Control Z to undo that. Now if you wish to go back and work on your card at a later time, make sure you save the file out as a PSP file. From the File menu, select Save As, and I'm going to select PS Image. This will allow me to maintain the layers within the file and continue editing at a later date. But for now, I'm simply going to go up to the File menu and Save As, and I'm going to save this as a PNG. Clicking on Save, it's going to tell me it's going to flatten all the layers, which is fine, and I'll simply click Yes to this. Many photo centers now have websites and photo booths that will allow you to upload your JPEG or PNG file and have it printed as a custom greeting card. Thanks for watching this video on how to create a greeting card in PaintShop Pro, and please have a safe and happy holiday season.